Hello everyone. Computational Fluid Dynamics or CFD is a very powerful tool used in industries ranging from aerospace to civil engineering. It allows us to simulate how fluids, whether air or water, behave in complex systems. But how do we ensure that these simulations are accurate? How do we trust these results? This is where verification and validation, often called as V and B, come into the play. These two steps are crucial for ensuring that our CFD models are both correct and reliable. But what exactly do these terms mean? Let's start with verification. Simply put, verification is about asking the question, are we solving the equations correctly? It's a process to check if the numerical methods used in CFD code are implemented accurately. Verification ensures that the mathematical model is correctly translated into a code. It's a check for programming bugs, computational errors and numerical instabilities. For instance, if the equations governing fluid flow are correctly coded, the results should converge as we refine the mesh or time step. In fact, mesh refinement is a key part for verification. As we increase the resolution of the grid, the results should stabilize. If they don't, it indicates that something is wrong with the implementation of the equations. Once we verify that our model is correctly implemented, we move to the next stage, which is validation. Validation is all about asking, are we solving the correct equation? In other words, do our simulation results match the real world data? Validation requires comparing the CFD results with experimental or real world data. For example, if we are simulating airflow over an aeroplane wing, we will compare the results to wind tunnel experiments. If the CFD results align well with the physical measurements, we can say the model is validated. Verification and validation go hand in hand. While verification ensures that the CFD model is internally consistent, validation checks its accuracy against the physical one. Both are necessary to build trust in the simulation. Think of it in this way. Verification is like double checking your math homework while validation is asking a teacher to grade it. Both are essential for confidence in your answer. Despite its importance, V and V in CFD comes with challenges. For one, high fidelity experimental data isn't always available, especially for complex systems. Moreover, real world phenomena like turbulence and flow separations are inherently difficult to model accurately. Researchers often rely on simplified models to simulate such complex behaviors. But these simplifications must be validated carefully to ensure that they don't introduce any new errors. V and V isn't just a theoretical exercise. It has real world impact. Take aerospace engineering for instance. Without proper verification and validation, designing an aircraft using CFD would be risky, leading to inefficient or even dangerous designs. Or consider environmental engineering. CFD is used to model wind patterns in cities, helping architects design structures that minimize wind load on buildings. These simulations must be validated against field data to ensure accuracy. In conclusion, verification and validation in CFD are two sides of the same coin. Verification checks the internal consistency of the model while validation ensures its alignment with the real world behavior. Together, they help engineers and researchers confidently apply CFD in wide range of industries from designing faster aeroplanes to creating safer cities. If you'd like to dive deeper into CFD or understand how VNV can enhance your projects, feel free to explore the resources in the description below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more videos like this.